back with another paranormal video. I have been wanting to film this for a long time. Ever since I first heard of the Reddit app and read this story, it was definitely something that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm not the type of person that gets scared easily, but this story like really gave me the heebie-jeebies. So I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. And we're finally here. Before I go ahead and share that story with you, please go ahead and don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when I post. I do a little bit of beauty, a little bit of books, a little bit of challenges, and a whole lot of the paranormal. <laughs> so without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce you to this really creepy story that went viral on Reddit No Sleep. The story is called, I took a job as a night guard. I shouldn't have. When I first saw the ad, I didn't think twice. Earn up to $80 per night with our simple job as a night guard. No prior experience required. The ad said, and I submitted my resume as fast as I could, fearing it could disappear or be taken by someone else at any moment. Honestly, $80 is not that much. $80 an hour? I can see why that would be tempting. $80 a night? Like, isn't that like minimum wage? Right? Less? Not two hours after submitting my application, I got a response on my email that I've been hired and can start working from tonight. It struck me as odd that there was no job interview and that I needed to start working right away, but hey, they maybe urgently needed someone. I've been jobless for over a year now, so I naively ignored any red flags and was just happy to have a job. I went to the given address at 8 p.m. and it turned out to be an office building. Hello, I called out when I entered, but no one responded. The hall I was in was engulfed in darkness and the only source of light coming in was through the pane of a glass door which had the name security on it. I knocked on the door, but there was no response. I decided to open it and sure enough, it was empty. On the desk was a note left clear as day for me to read. It said, to the new night guard, your shift starts at 8.04 p.m. and ends at 4.04 a.m. When you arrive to the building and relieve the other guard of your duty, you can stay in the security room as long as you want, but you have to use the elevator to get to the top floor once at any time during the shift. Once up there, you have to proceed to the attic and flip the switch on the wall. That's it. If the other guard is not in the security room at the time of your arrival, make a report in the notebook and we will inform his family. As for your duty, it's very likely that when you push the top floor button, 25, the elevator will go past that floor and you may see that it's stopped on floor 33. If this happens, do not try pushing any of the buttons since it'll not, it will not work. Go forward through the hallway. Note that the flashlight may not do much to illuminate the area, but still bring it with you. There's a spare in the drawer. Some people report hearing or seeing office employees working at their desks coming from the adjacent rooms. You may see them doing something like typing on a computer which isn't turned on or typing one word over and over on the screen. Ignore them at all costs. It is currently unknown if the employees are real or a manifestation of the mind, but ignoring them should keep you safe. Turn left when you reach the end of the hallway. You may sometimes see a man standing in the middle, blocking your way. He will do you no harm, so long as you maintain eye contact with him. You have to get past him, so put your hand on the wall to your right or left and slide it across as you go through the to avoid stumbling and losing eye contact with the man. He will keep following you with his gaze and try to distract you. Reports indicate that he may point behind you with a look of fear on his face to try to get you to look away. You may also hear loud crashing sounds or voices right next to you, but ignore them. 
Once you reach the end of the hall and around the corner and not a moment sooner, you're safe from the individual. When you reach the exit, which leads to the staircase, proceed down. Make sure that you know what floor you're on, and if any of the floors start repeating on your way down, immediately go back up to floor 33, and then start descending again. If you see any of the other door stair doors open, proceed carefully, especially focusing on the ceiling or underside of the stairs. You may start to hear footsteps coinciding with your own behind you. Don't stop to listen and don't turn around. Just proceed as you normally would. If you feel that the footsteps are getting closer, go faster, but not try not to arouse suspicion. If you hear a high-pitched scream coming from above, it usually sounds like a mountain lion. Run down to floor 25 as fast as you can and pray that what and pray that you are faster than that thing chasing you. If you are forced to continue going down despite the floors repeating, enter the closest floor. You will find yourself back in the hallway of floor 33. Simply repeat the steps from before. Once you reach floor 25, you are in the clear. First, call the elevator and jam the door to keep it open. Press the floor 1 button and go back to the switch. After flipping the switch, the lights will go out. At this point, you will start to hear screams all around you, similarly to the one described before. Run to the elevator as fast as you can and enter it while unjamming the door. If you did everything right, you should have at least five extra seconds to close the elevator before the entities of the building reach you. You should be back on the first floor of the security room once the elevator stops. You may spend the rest of your shift however you desire, so long as you don't leave the property between the 8.04 p.m. and 4.04 a.m. Note that leaving the building at any given moment between the mentioned times will put you back on floor 33. Also note that not flipping the switch before 4.04 a.m. will result you in not being able to leave the building. Thank you for performing your duties, management. It's 1.24 a.m. right now, and the elevator doors just opened on their own. And that is the end of part one. There are, I believe, five parts now, and the finale already came out. So if you guys want me to continue the story, please do go ahead and let me know. Also, what are your favorite no sleep Reddit stories? If there's any that you recommend me to read and also to read to you guys, please go ahead and post them down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Again, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And you guys, yes, in case you haven't noticed, we are officially a paranormal channel. Ah! <laughs> so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.